morning and welcome to this week's Trade of the Week on Monday, the 4th of December. Now, uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize because last week I got my trade of the week mixed up with the trading the trend, which we do on Wednesdays, and basically talk to you about our long S&P 500 position. But actually on the 20th of November on Trade of the Week, we went short soya beans and I didn't give you an update on that. So I'd like to do so now. Basically, we were short 1,367. We had a stop loss here just above the recent high in November, and that trade is still ongoing. It's in profit at the moment. So what I would do is just lower my um, stop loss level to break even to just below your entry level so you don't lose any money on this trade if it were to revert to the upside. We still have our downside targets here around 1,300 in place, and that trade is still ongoing. Now, last week, we went long gold, and we did so despite gold being overbought. And basically, the reasoning was that um, we wanted to see a daily chart close above the October high, $2,009 per troy ounce, which we did see on uh, Monday, the 27th of November. And uh, basically, we went long there with an upside target, $2,075 per troy ounce, which was hit earlier today. It actually went quite a bit higher than that earlier this morning, but since then has come back down again. So that trade also worked out extremely well. And uh, for this week, what I would like to do is to go long uh, sugar. Now, the reason uh, is purely technical, and uh, we must make sure, though, that we're not jumping the gun. And what I'm seeing here at the moment is a potential bullish hammer formation where you have a small body, a long shadow to the downside, which is at least three times longer than the body, and um, then if on the next day you close on a daily chart closing basis above today's high, so Tuesday, we need to have a close above Monday's high. If we see this hammer formation, then you basically go long and it gives you a potential uh, sharp reversal uh, after this sharp decline that we've seen last week. And from a risk reward percent, uh, point of view, it makes sense to trade this sort of setup, even though it's against the short term trend. But as you can see here, we're still trading in the direction of the medium term trend because we've been rising since June of this year. So um, this is uh, today's uh, trade of the week. It is to go long sugar um, on a daily chart closing basis tomorrow on Tuesday above Monday's high if on Monday a bullish hammer formation was formed. And uh, we would do so with a stop loss at 24.27 and an upside target around 26.10.